Jossoy Pablo Emilio Escobar Gaviria. Mis ojos están en todos lados, o sea, ustedes no pueden hacer una puta solo mierda en el departamento de Antioquia sin que yo me entere. Sí, señores, no pueden ver un dedo. Un día, yo voy a ser presidente de la República de Colombia. Y bien, me gano la vida haciendo negocio, hace pues fresco, tranquilo. Ustedes, ¿pueden aceptar mi negocio o aceptar las consecuencias? Plata o plomo, ustedes eligen. Hello everyone, this is me Mohammed from Arabic with Brazi and in this new episode we're gonna learn a new vocabulary from the amazing Netflix series Narcos. And as everyone knows that Narcos is a soap opera from Netflix tells the story of Pablo Escobar which is played well by Wagner Mora. But first let me remind you what's the purpose of vocabulary videos. As everyone knows that vocabulary is the main unit in language formation. And the one who doesn't know a lot of vocabulary in his new language is like a mute person. So, the more vocabulary you have, the more fluent you'll be in your new language. So, let's learn a new vocabulary. So let's begin from the name of the soap opera, which is Narcos. Narcos means drug dealers, and this word has been taken from the Spanish word narcotraficante. So let's, let's talk about its meaning in Arabic now. Narcos means tujar muhaddirat. Tujar muhaddirat. Dealers who deal with narcotic product or dealers who sells narcotic products narcos tujar muhaddirat its singular is narco tajar muhaddirat so narcos tujar muhaddirat narco tajar muhaddirat you know that a lot of Pablo Escobar's men call him El Patron when they speak with him. And El Patron in, in Spanish has a lot of meaning in English, like patron, boss, leader in this situation. And in Arabic it means a lot of meaning also like Zaim or Qaid. Zaim or Qaid. And in, in Syrian dialect we have and a nice word in this situation, which is Reyes or Malim. Reyes or Malim. So, let's make a summary. In Spanish, it's El Patron. In English, it's Patron, Boss or Leader. In Modern Standard Arabic, it's Zaim or Qaid. In Syrian dialect, it's Reyes or Malim. Reyes or Malim. Zaim or Qaid. Zaim or Qaid. Reyes or Malim. Reyes or Malim. New word. Drugs or narcotics. In Arabic it means Muhaddirat. 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 Gun. Gun has several meaning in Arabic. But the general meaning is Silah, silah, silah. You know that in Narcos there was a character called Valeria Peles, which worked as anchor woman in the Colombian TV, and she was one of Pablo Escobar's supporters and tried always to reach his voice to news. So 
She is anchor woman. And there is no comparable word for anchor woman in Arabic. But the closest one is mudia. Mudia. But if you want to be more specific, it has to be mudi'at akhbar. Mudi'at akhbar. All the people who watched Narcos will know how much the family took a place in Narcos life. So what the meaning of family in Arabic? Family. Aila. 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 And by the way, I want to tell you that in the future I'll make a specific video to talk about family and the name of family members. And it will be soon, inshallah. And now let's talk about one of the famous phrases in this soap opera. This phrase that Pablo Escobar used to say, which is plata o plomo. Plata o plomo. As we know that in English plata could mean silver or money, in Arabic it means fidda or mal. So silver means fidda. Silver, fidda. And money, mal. Mal. In Syrian dialect, there is a comparable word for mal, which is masari. Masari. Plomo in English means lead, or in this situation, it means bullets. In Arabic, it means rasas. 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 This was everything for today. I hope it was a beneficial video. If you like this video, I could make another part of it to learn more vocabulary from Narcos series. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget also to tell your friend about this channel. See you soon. Goodbye. Ila liqa.